Good day, everyone. So how are you today? I hope you're fine. So for today, I will be discussing with you the variables in research. So are you ready? So you can put out your notebook or notepad to jot down some important concepts. So let us define first variable in research. In research, there are characteristics which the researchers assign more than one value. Say, for example, we have the age, the achievement test, gender, height, weight, and others. These are the variables in research. We have several types of variables, but we have at least six most common variables which I will be giving emphasis today. First, we have the dependent variable. Then we have the independent variable. We have intervening or mediating variable. We have extraneous variable. We have control or constant variable. We have nominal or categorical variable and others. To name other variables in research, we have organismic interval ratio, ordinal, dummy, reference, and multiple response variable. So what is dependent variable? Dependent variable, it is defined as the variable affected by the independent variable. What about independent variable? This is the variable that is presumed to influence the other variable. This variable is the presumed cause, while the dependent variable is the presumed effect. Dependent variable also responds to the independent variable. Again, dependent variable is the presumed effect, while the independent variable is the presumed cause. Let's take this example. You are interested in how stress affects mental state of human beings. So if you're going to look at this, how stress affects mental state of human being, directly stress is the cause and the mental state of human being is the effect. So here, the independent variable is the stress, and the dependent variable is mental state of human beings. You can directly manipulate stress levels in your uh, human subjects and how and measure how those stress levels change the mental state. Well, I hope you understand. Example two, promotion affects employees' motivation. Promotion affects employees' motivation. So the independent variable here is the promotion and the dependent variable is the employee's motivation. Okay, so next. Some researchers uses other terms for dependent and independent variable. Other names for dependent variable, so we have explained, predictant, regression, response, outcome, control. Again, everybody read. Explain, predictant, regression, response, outcome, and control. Very good. So, also, independent variable. Dependent variable, the other words used or substituted independent variable. Again, I'll read explanatory, predictor, regressor, stimulus, covariate, control. Okay, everybody read explanatory, predictor, regressor, stimulus, covariate, and control. So to familiarize yourselves with these words, 
use this in your future researches. So dependent and independent variable. Okay, so maybe in your future assignment, I will let you use the other words used to substitute dependent variable or independent variable. So we have another variable which is intervening or mediating variable. It is a variable whose existence is inferred but it cannot be measured. Okay, so it is caused by the independent variable and is itself a cause of the dependent variable. A intervening variable, this is hypothetical variable used to explain causal link between other variables. For example, there is an association between being poor and having a shorter lifespan. What do you think? Again, for example, there is an association between being poor and having a shorter lifespan. If you're poor, you'll die early. Is that so? So, it's hypothetical variable. Okay, so intervening. Next, example, the association between video clips and learning ability needs to be explained because there are other variables that intervene like anxiety, fatigue, motivation, improper diet, and etc. So this example, determining the effect of video clips on learning ability of students the association between video clips and learning ability needs to be explained, as what I've said. Other variables that intervene, if we're going to look at it, we have the anxiety, fatigue, motivation, improper diet, and etc. Then we have the extraneous variable. Extraneous variables are undesirable variables that influence the relationship between the variables. Or this an experimenting or experimenter. Example, if the temperature affects performance, this is totally extraneous. Because extraneous variables are undesirable variables. These are variables that are not intentionally studying in your experiment. Again, these are variables that you are not intentionally studying in your experiment. So that's why it's called extraneous variable. As I mentioned a while ago, example is temperature affects performance. So this is totally extraneous. Next slide. Example, an educational psychologist has developed a new learning strategy and is interested in examining the effectiveness of this strategy. The experimental randomly assigns students into two groups. All of the students study text materials on biology topic for 30 minutes. One group uses the new strategy and the other uses a strategy of their choice. Then all students complete a test over the materials. So what is the extraneous variable here? So we have course, the variables that you are not intentionally studying is the pre-knowledge of the biology topic. Okay? So, that is extraneous variable. So, if uh, you have questions, you can send me comments or you can send me your feedback about variables and we can discuss it next meeting. Thank you so much for listening.